Your players don't actually give a shit about your D&D campaign. I know it can be kind of a tough pill to swallow, especially if you've spent countless hours crafting the perfect setting, meticulously planning out the most incredible NPCs, and developing a story with twists and turns that rival that of Lord of the Rings. Although Lord of the Rings doesn't really have that many twists and turns. It's a pretty straightforward story, but that's not the point. The point is that 90% of the problems people have when DMing come from the mistaken assumption that their players actually care about their campaign. And like all issues in the tabletop role-playing space, I blame Critical Role. Matt Mercer and his crew are professional voice actors. Kenny! Matt Mercer has crafted an incredible story that I haven't viewed because I think actual plays are boring, but I heard it's great. And Matt Mercer's players are incredibly invested. Now, there's a tiny little detail that goes by most people who watch this and set it as the ideal D&D campaign. These guys are professionals. As of 2018, Critical Role's entire product is based around basically making the perfect game of D&D. It would be like if you watched the NBA and you were like, damn, why can't I play as good as LeBron? LeBron James has dedicated his life to being the greatest NBA player of all time. Come at me, Jordan fans, I dare you. Your players are average people. They have jobs and other responsibilities and things to do. You wanna know why your players aren't nearly as invested in your campaign as you are? They are here for a very different reason than you are. If you're anything like me, one of your favorite things to do as a DM is world build. In fact, I got into DMing because I loved world building and I wanted other people to experience the worlds that I built and I don't have the patience to be an author. But your friends and your players, they're not here for the world building that you've done. They're not here for the NPCs that you concocted. They're here because they want to sit back, relax, roll some dice, and just have a relaxing good time. Let me give you an example from the Abomination Vaults campaign that I'm currently playing in. My good friend and fellow YouTuber Discourse kind of threw Ronald, who's GMing the whole thing, a bit of a curveball. Instead of wanting to get lost in the super dungeon that Ronald is running, she's more interested in running for mayor in the adjacent town. Now, some DMs might hear that and start tearing their hair out. I mean, why wouldn't she be super interested? interested in the vast abomination vaults and all the secrets they have and defeating the monsters that live there? Well, the answer is simple. Players want agency. You see, players aren't interested in the grand vision of the DM. They don't care about the intricate web of alliances or the lineage of the elven queen from eons past. What players care about are their characters and the actions that their characters take and the effect that their characters' actions have upon the world that you as the DM create. When Discourse's character runs for mayor, she's making an impact on the world. She has a tangible goal that lets her character affect the campaign setting directly and in a way that she wants to affect the campaign setting. That's what players thrive on. They want to make decisions. They want those decisions to have consequences and they want those consequences to impact the world around them. So here's the DM advice that you might not want to hear. Let it go, let it go. Let go of your campaign a little bit. Let the players have an impact on the world. Something that Dungeon World does that I think is super cool is it encourages the DM to let players do a little bit of the world building themselves. Let your players tell you what village they're from. Let your players tell you why this particular location matters to their character. Let your village name the blacksmith or describe what the inn looks like. Give them that agency and then they'll care a lot more about your campaign. And furthermore, create opportunities for them to shine. Focus on their characters, how their characters can be the heroes of the story. Take a step back from what you do and focus on letting them shine. I know it sounds weird. It sounds messed up. Like I said, I got into DMing because I loved world building. But when you let go and you let the players shine and you let them have that impact, you are going to have so much more fun as a DM. I promise you. Now, don't get me wrong. Creating a rich campaign setting is super freaking fun. And I love doing it. Just recognize that the world building is for you not for them. And don't be afraid to set them loose in your world and let them destroy stuff and break things. You always have a copy of your world at home, right? Now, if you want more DM tips and tricks, you should click right here, where I tell you all about how my personal favorite game, Dungeon World, can make your game of D&D or Pathfinder or whatever better. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I totally fucked up the order, whatever. Wow.